Hello, Ghost here again from the TechCraft server, and today we're going to go over how you can run a bucket server on a Mac. So, as you can see, we already have our craft bucket folder created. So, what we're going to do is you're just going to want to go to bucket.org, which is the craft bucket website, and you're just going to want to download this recommended build 1.0.1 R1, which will take you to this page, click craft bucket 1.0.1. We're just going to download that. It shouldn't take very long. All right. Now we're just going to go in our finder and we're just going to move this over. Now that that is inside our craft bucket folder, I'm just going to quickly use cleanup because I want it to be perfect. So we're just going to rename this uh, file to just plain craftbucket.jar. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Get Craft Bucket tab, click on Mac OS X, and just go down to here where you can see this exclamation point slash bin slash bash, etc., and just copy this code. It may actually be inside the uh, the description of the video, and you're just going to want to open up Text Edit. Just going to copy that, and you're going to make sure you delete the one. Make sure there are no spaces here, and there are not. So now we're just going to do File, Save, and I'm just going to save that to my desktop for right now. And we're going to want to switch this to plain text. Oops, wrong. Plain text, and just save it as you can save it as whatever name you would like. I'm just going to save it as Start Server. .sh and make sure you add the .sh extension. So we're just going to just save that, and as you can see, it has appeared on our desktop and it is a shell command file. So we're just going to bring this up again. All right. Now that we have our start server .sh file and our craftbucket.jar, we're going to open up a new instance of terminal. We're going to type cd to change directory. Make sure you add a space. And in your craft bucket folder, just click on this little tab here and just go down to get info. This will give you the directory. And for us, we're also going to want to add forward slash craft bucket. Case does matter. And as you can see, we have gone now into my iMac at craft bucket. So now what we're going to want to do is just type in bash and just drag and drop your start server.sh into terminal and that will automatically show which command it's the terminal is supposed to use so we're just going to press enter and as you can see the craft bucket files all generate the end the nether the world whitelists ops etc so now we'll just let that finish generating And let's just, for example, let me, oh, that helps. And we can just do add server. And let's do, oh, what is it? Localhost. Okay. And bad login. I might have to actually restart my Minecraft. I'm just going to do that now. Okay. And we're just going to log into our server, and here you are. We are now on our server. Let me just expand this. And as you can see, our server has worked properly. And that is how you run a craft bucket server on a Mac. Thank you, and see you next time. There was one other thing I also forgot to add, and that is if you would like to allocate more. Uh, memory to the server you would just right click and let's open with text edit <clears throat> and then you would just change this from right here it says 2G which is what I'm going to actually want to keep it at and that would allocate it 2 gigabytes of RAM but you can also just give it 1 or any other set amount that you would want you can even do megabytes if you wish and that's all else that you need to know. Thanks for watching.